Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing really well. In today's video, I have a review video of the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Now, I've already filmed like a review video of the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser back in the days, but this video is just a pure dedicated video regarding this cleanser. I'm gonna talk about the purpose, the ingredients, the results, application, and so much more regarding this jelly cleanser, which I have experienced in the past few months now. So if you like this kind of stuff, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel to don't miss out on videos like these. Now, this is the bad boy which is honestly Glossier's most popular, most best-selling product and it is the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I had this now, ooh, I had this for a very long time now. I would say six months, I definitely had it last year and during lockdown, or was it after lockdown, something like that and um, still going strong. The reason why I still have quite a lot left, now I have used this much, you guys can see, and I still have that much left, which is quite a lot. So the reason why I have quite a lot is because I haven't been using this constantly and I have not been using this all the time and it is not my go-to cleanser. And I'm gonna tell you guys why it's not my go-to cleanser in this video. Now this is a gentle yet effective creamy gel face wash for all skin types. Why is a special a pH balanced daily cleanser with five skin conditioners that won't leave the, your skin irritated or feeling tight, which is really, really true. So when you use this face wash, it's very nice. It's uh, not nourishing. It's uh, It has the conditioners which is nourishing while you are using the product but afterwards it does leave your skin nice and fresh. Doesn't leave it tight like some cleansers do or very stripping. It is a non-stripping cleanser. The same gentle cleansing agents found in the contact lens solution make also safe for the eyes. I haven't been using it around my eyes because I have been avoiding the eye area but you can use it around the eyes as well. It's very soothing, it's purifying, it's nourishing, non-condemic, it's vegan and it's cruelty free. It is dermatology tested, it's safe to use around the eyes, it's all for all skin types and uh, honestly there are really really good reviews regarding this cleanser. In terms of the ingredients, the ingredients are quite healthy looking as well. Now I'm someone who doesn't go into the ingredients quite a lot now. I think I should maybe mention it because I'm not a dermatologist, I'm not the skincare like dermatologist who's really really into their skincare like analysis. I'm none of that. I'm not a doctor. I'm just a consumer, just a consumer like you guys who is trying out the products for themselves and of course there's plenty other channels in YouTube that you can go and watch people talk about ingredients but this is not me. In terms of the ingredients it has rose water which is quite nice. It's, it's um, really nice and it smells amazing because of the rose water. Now rose water is the main ingredient which really really shows and the smell of this is divine. I love the smell so much. It's also got pro vitamin B5 which is a powerful natural moisturizer found in mushrooms and cheese. It's uh, got really good ingredients. So ingredients of this is really fine. In terms of the texture, the texture is like a jelly milky consistency. It's not very liquidy. It's also well not very blah, not very jelly. It's just the right balance between of a gel and a liquid. So it's very nice to use and it distributes very easily onto the skin. You can also use it as a makeup remover like two to three pumps on dry skin, gently massage onto your eye area and it melts away all the mascara, all the like dirt and all the foundation that you had throughout the day but I only have been using this as a daily face wash in the mornings. It's very lovely to use in the mornings. The only problem now I have with this cleanser is I have been using one pump which is I recommend one to two pumps. Um, it says it's best to wear it or try it in the shower, which I haven't, but you can do it as well. So onto wet skin, use one to two pumps with this jelly cleanser. I did, and honestly, the one issue I have with this is it doesn't foam. Like, yes, it does cleanse, it does go onto the skin, but I feel like because of the consistency, because of the color of it, I can't really see it onto my skin and it doesn't really foam as I like it to and um, I've used so many other cleansers, so many other like foam cleansers, like kind of scrub like cleansers, like cream cleansers, gel cleansers 
and all of them really exfoliate really scrub and really like foam with water and you can see the lather that really really lathers onto the skin whereas this doesn't really do any of that it doesn't really lather onto the skin it doesn't really like you can see it a little bit but it doesn't really foam that's the only thing and i feel like i'm not really cleansing my skin in the morning that's the only thing I have noticed with this and I know it's a conditioning face wash which is like a, you know how you will use conditioners and when you put it on your hair and you can't really see the conditioner and it doesn't really foam conditioners they don't foam like shampoo they do they do foam a lot so this it's like a conditioner for your face which doesn't foam which is like very like invisible when you put it on your skin with water on wet skin it gets invisible and that's why i feel like i i don't clean my face enough and i have been noticing um spots around my face especially around my pores normally with face washes whenever i use them i don't get this issue like my pores are very nice minimized i don't break out a lot and once I have used this, I feel like I have been breaking out quite a lot. I feel like my face doesn't get cleansed a lot, or doesn't get cleansed at all. And I feel like this doesn't really do much for me. Is it me or somebody else experiencing that? Now, I do have dry skin and you would imagine that this face wash would be the one for me as I have dry skin and it would be very conditioning, very nice and nourishing onto the skin, which it has been. I mean, on throughout the application, it is very nice and conditioning and nice, but I feel like it gets just invisible onto the skin. I can't really say what I'm doing. And one pump or two pumps, I feel like for me is not enough because of the um, invisibility of the product I feel like one or two pumps of this product is not enough for myself so honestly I have tried this product so many times different ways other ways in order to get the gist of it but I can't just work out how this product works for me it is a very gentle cleanser so probably that's why the ingredients for my skin type they don't work as efficient and it does have four out of five stars on the glossier website and there's one comment i've highlighted which says it didn't remove any makeup with over five pumps uh, it works well if you're not wearing any makeup at all or the day or if you use it in the morning so i'm guessing other people have issues with this cleanser as well it doesn't really do much for their skin so I feel like it really depends how your skin works how your skin type is and basically how you get along with this product now of course Glossier is a brand which is more like this minimalistic more this natural brand aesthetics products that work but also are not too much in your face but sometimes with products you really want the product to work if it's a cleanser if it's a moisturizer, if it's a face mask, you really wanna make sure that the product really works, especially with cleansers, cause this is the first step that I use in the morning. I want to use a product that really, really cleanses the skin complexion. And whenever I use this, I feel like it didn't do anything to my skin. And there are quite a lot of alternatives um, for example that I can uh, mention that really work amazingly onto the skin there is one I've also I think believe I've mentioned in my previous video that one from L'Oreal is the L'Oreal Fine Flowers face wash I'm gonna answer the picture here this smells exactly the same like the glossy one it has rose extracts and this gel cream cleanser works beautiful Honestly, one of the best gel cream cleansers I've used is the one from L'Oreal. I'm gonna leave it here on the screen. Also, I'm gonna leave it down below. It's amazing. And also the price of it is around three or four pounds. Sometimes it's on offer for two pounds or I don't know. It's sometimes on offer. So definitely look an eye on the L'Oreal one because I feel like that one is hands down much better than the Glossier one. I'm so sorry, Glossier. I really like your brand Aesthetics, but I feel like this product was some, for me a bit of a duh product and it didn't do much onto my skin i love glossier as a brand i'm not shading glossier honestly glossier i love the brow products i love the boy brow and the brow flick and so many other things from glossier i really enjoy like the bone.com i like but the 
Milky Jelly Cleanser is just not for me. Now if you want to try out the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, it comes in a smaller size, 60ml and that retails for £8, which is not too bad. And this size, which is the bigger size, 177ml and that retails for £15. In terms of the packaging, I love the packaging of this. So easy to use, I love the pump, honestly. Also, it does look nice on the dressing table. But it's a bit of a shame that uh, the product for me doesn't do much and I will definitely use it up. I will use it as a makeup remover or I will use it on the days but my skin looks or feels healthy but I feel like this product didn't do much to my skin at all. Alright everyone, so this was it. These are all the thoughts and opinions that I wanted to share with regarding the Milky Jelly Cleanser. If you have the Milky Jelly Cleanser and it works for you, definitely use it up and enjoy it. Of course, some skincare products, they work and sometimes they don't work on some skin types so definitely this didn't do much for me so hope you guys found this video very informative and helpful and if you enjoyed it please give this video a like and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skincare related content like these thanks so much for watching everyone until next time i will see you all in my next video